Welcome back to Report Toaster Tutorials. This time we're going to talk about exporting and downloading your Shopify data through Report Toaster. We're going to go back to our familiar orders data list to work with, and we're going to limit that uh, to the last 24 hours. So we can see all the orders that have been received in the last 24 hours. So then you can see that list displayed, and we can do here is we can download that list. So we'll start with downloading as a PDF. So you can see at the bottom of the screen it's generating the download. And when it's done, it'll pop up down there at the bottom for us to look at. I click that. That here opens in a browser. You can see that PDF, um, 25 pages. This could be, once it's downloaded, you can email this off, share it with colleagues, um, send it off to uh, you know a partner or something like that. Uh, we can also download it in a JSON format, which is something more familiar to programmers. Once that's generated, I'll click that, open it in the browser. You can see it probably looks like gibberish to you or I, but um, it could be very useful if you're looking to import data into another system or something similar. The last format we currently have is CSV, which you're probably familiar with. That's a comma separated value file that's normally used in Excel for formatting or maybe um, data parsing. I'm going to open that one, click that. That's going to open by default in Excel. I'm going to drag that up so you can take a look at it. So there you can see all the orders that we have here um, included that you had included on the report. So if you customize the report, add more columns, etc., you'll get more data in your downloads and exports. So we can also look at the history of our downloads. And from here, you can see the last few we've done. I can go ahead and do the uh, JSON again if I wanted to, re-download it. You can see it comes down at the bottom of the screen here. I can open that just like we did before. Once it opens, there we go. Uh, or we can click the link. Let's grab this PDF link. We'll go back up here. We'll open a browser window. You could send this in an email to someone, and then it there it is. It downloads that PDF, the same PDF we were looking at earlier. So a lot of power with the export and download to um, you know share with others, email, um, you know send links, whatever it is you need it for. So uh, that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. To watch more tutorials, you can go to reporttoaster.kb.help or visit our website at cloudlab.com.